everyone. Welcome to my get together. My name is Aleka and today we are working on a deliciously creamy cold spinach dip made without mayonnaise. Here it is. It's one of my favorite dips to make when I'm expecting company, whether it's last minute or planned. Uh, it's just super quick to whip up and it's full of flavor. And even if you make it ahead of time, it's I suggest even better because the flavors get a chance to kind of marry, meld, you know, and infuse all that cream cheese flavor. So let's get started. So the ingredients we're gonna need for our dip is, of course, cream cheese, a block or eight ounces of cream cheese, one and a half cups of sour cream, two tomatoes. I like the medium to smaller Roma um, tomatoes, or you can use one larger one one to two scallions, half a teaspoon of salt, pepper, onion powder, and garlic powder. Always season and taste when you're using salt because not all salts are alike. And last, you're gonna need spinach. I definitely recommend buying a frozen package of chopped spinach because fresh spinach has a lot of water in it. And as it sits in your dip, it will release some of that water, making it more watery than we want. When we use fresh spinach, I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do in a second, but we're gonna squeeze out all the water and it's already pre-chopped and it's a lot cheaper. So look for a uh, 10 ounce bag. The equipment you're gonna need is a standing mixer or a handheld blender. Either one will work, although the standing mixer will make it super quick. Okay, let's get chopping. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is chop up our tomatoes. We want a small dice. We think about how you want your tomatoes in your dip. You don't want them too chunky. You don't want them too small so that you don't see them. You just want a very small dice of tomato. So we're looking for sizes of the tomato that are about this, no bigger than this cube. And now we're gonna chop up our green onions or scallions. I'm gonna use one because this guy's pretty big, um, or you can use two smaller ones. Next, we're going to prepare our spinach that is previously frozen, but now fully thawed out. If you don't have time to thaw it in the refrigerator overnight, just pop it in the microwave so that all the water will melt, and then we're gonna squeeze it after the fact anyway. So what you wanna do is you're gonna grab either a very thin uh, dish rag, dish towel, or some extra thick paper towels. I love me some bounty paper towels. No, they do not pay me to say that. I just am obsessed with the quality. <laughs> so here we go. Grab two thick double ply paper towels and you're gonna just add your spinach to the center of your paper towel. And this is 10 ounces of spinach and it looks like a lot, but it's gonna squeeze down a lot as well. Now that we have our spinach in our paper towel, we're just gonna wrap it up like a little present. Okay, and if you have your towel, you're gonna to do the same thing. And we're going to squeeze either over the sink or another bowl. Squeeze all of that spinach water out. If we don't do this step, your dip is gonna be super watery and it defeats the whole purpose of wanting that creamy consistency that we all love in spinach dips. Get that muscles working. Now, you guys see how much water is in there? It's about a quarter of a cup of water. We don't want this. All right, so now that we have all our ingredients ready, we're gonna throw them in our mixing bowl. Okay, so you're going to open up your pretty spinach package and just drop in that drained spinach. All of your tomatoes and green onions. Now, I'm going to put my tomatoes in now, but I do recommend waiting till afterwards to add them so that they don't break up, but it's not a huge make or break. Your dip is still gonna be delicious. One and a half cups of sour cream, which is about 16 ounces. And yes, for those math people out there, I know that there's eight ounces in a cup, but liquid measure is not the same as sour cream measure, meaning water, eight ounces, not the same. Okay, cream cheese time. A tip is to make sure that your cream cheese is at room temperature before you put it in because it will be a little bit tougher to blend or cream together if it's rock hard. And then lastly, we're going to add our seasonings. Okay, so it's ready. See that literally took less than a minute to mix up. 
and you can see all of the little chunks of tomato. Remember, you don't want your tomato too big, but you don't want it too small. You want people to know that there's tomato in it, and you want it to be easily scoopable with a chip or cracker or whatever. Okay, we're going to add our cream cheese mixture to a little bowl or serving platter, something small so it doesn't look so chunky on your plate. And there we go. And I always like to make sure the presentation is there, so I will literally place certain ingredients on the top so that people know that there's tomatoes in here. Some su substitution suggestions, you can replace the tomatoes with some red bell pepper for a pop of color and a sweet flavor. You can also use kale instead of spinach, a dash of Worcestershire, Worcestershire, Worcestershire sauce. You know what I'm talking about. That always adds an additional uh, flavor boost and an umami type flavor. Um, and you can always add finely grated or shredded cheese to your spinach dip, which would really make it delicious. Best of all, guys, like I said, it's very quick to make up. It's last minute. It's great for a last minute dip. It takes me less than five minutes from start to finish to make it, as long as all my ingredients are thawed and um, ready to go. I guarantee your friends and family will love this dip. It's thick. It's like the perfect ratio of spinach to everything, and it's just so delicious. So. Hopefully you guys like this recipe. You can get the full recipe and you can print it out by visiting the link in the description below. Make sure to like and subscribe for more delicious party dips, recipes, and tips from me for hosting at home stress-free. That was, that was like rhyming. That was good rhyming, Aleka. Okay, happy hosting everybody.